Um, that means that it's an opportunity uh, for you to explain to the American people how you view a Supreme Court justice's job and uh, the limits and bounds on that job. So I want to go back to a topic that you and I have discussed a few times, which is how you approach cases. Um, you've told this committee and you've told me in private um, that you don't have a judicial philosophy yet, but that you think of yourself as really? having more of a judicial oh. methodology. That, um, see, I'd like to understand You don't that. have a judicial Probably philosophy more. at all. Really, that, after 10 years on the bench, you don't have any philosophy? To understand yeah. After Harvard, Harvard? Harvard. That's bizarre. And after clerking Earlier for three today, federal you judges, quote, you do don't have a judicial philosophy. That's the most sus thing in the world. That is the most sus. That's pretty sus. I think you said sometimes that's enough to resolve the issue.